so here's my plan for today. Um, this little blue dot right here. Um, at the bottom of the page here. I don't know if you can see my little cursor. That's where I'm camped on the edge of uh, this gorge that looks down over onto this lake. So I'm going to... Uh, it's only 5 a.m. here, so it's still dark. Uh, in about an hour, we'll get first light. I'll pick up, and then I'm going to the restaurant way up here where that red teardrop is in that hiker sign at the top page. Uh, they don't open until 8 o'clock, so I might sleep in a little bit or I'll just take my time. And anyway, I'm going to uh, pick up camp. I'm back down here at this little blue dot. And I'll hike north along the Pony Express Trail, which is the old PCT. Uh, it's now just a, a trail bikers use. There were, I saw horse hoof prints in the uh, trail. So this is just a local trail now. But I decided to take it to see if there was any camping. And there's a lot of nice camping along here. If you follow it all the way around, a local woman that was walking the trail told me there's some nice camping over here on, uh, if you can see my cursor, where that Pony Express Trail ends, right by Lake uh, Adrian. She said there's some nice camping around the edge of the lake here too. So I didn't want to go all the way down there, but... Uh, that's an option. So anyway, I'm going to come back up here where the Pony Express is, and I'll take this little short trail over to number two. Um, if I zoom in just, oops, wrong way. If I zoom in just a little bit here, uh, a little bit more. All right, you'll see there's a water drop there, so there must be, and that's reliable water. So uh, I'll fill up my wallet water here, um, probably three liters. That's all I'm going to need. Um, the water up here at Echo Lake is supposed to be contamin contaminated because of um, the power boat that they use. And a lot of people have boats in here, and so they, they really don't recommend drinking this water. So I'm going to fill up with three liters. Now, right up here again where that red teardrop is, that's Echo Lake Trailhead. And um, that's also where you they have the um, the chalet here, the restaurant. So this is where I'll go. And there's a little general store there too. So I'll go in there and uh, and here's here's where all the boats are in the lake. So I'll be hiking over here on this left. Uh, on this, this, excuse me, right side of the lake. I, I'll hike all the way down the back there. Um, let's see if I can get back here somehow. And um, so I will continue hiking along this, along this red um, trail, which is the PCT and a TRT that they're together right now. I'll continue hiking. Uh, around uh, lower echo and then upper echo and then right up here is your water taxi junction a lot of people especially a lot of PCTers will pay I don't know what it is the fee and they'll take the boat ride up here they save a couple of miles at least of hiking which I I'm here to hike so I'm gonna hike it I'm not taking a boat <clears throat> so now at this point, uh, right here where you have the no camping sign, from this point all the way back to the highway, Route 50, there was no camping. It's like a, two, two, a little over two miles section. Um, actually, it's more than that because I'm, I'm at 4.4 miles from the road. Uh, so um, 0.4 from the road. It's a four-mile section of no camping until you reach this point. Then you can, uh, then you, now you enter the Desolation Wilderness area, and you can camp all in here. Uh, let's see what that says. Camping restrictions. Uh, all right, yeah, you're just going to be um, 200 feet from the water, which is no big deal. Um, 
So my plan is to keep hiking. And I'm either, I'm going to take this little, right here, Lake Aloha Junction, I'm going to take the spur trail. I've heard so many things about this Lake Aloha that i got to go down there and check it out. So there are two lakes. you got to get down here. you got Lake of the Woods, and there's a little trail that comes down here. It says, um... Aloha Desolation Trail, I guess it is. And it comes around this here. Uh, this dotted line comes around the um, Lake of the Woods. I may come over here just to check it out, but I think I'm going to come back and, and, and maybe camp up in this area here, just south of this here where it says Lake Aloha. Um, just south of that, all along the lake here. I may camp somewhere in there. Now, to this point, if you look at this little sign, where I am right now, I'm 7.8 miles away. Um, so it's kind of a short day. So if I continue a little more, and I hike up here to this junction, which is, says a stream, I don't want that. Give me that one. There we go. Tahoe Rim Trail sign here. Uh, that puts me at 9 miles, and I can take this little spot dotted trail again and is they'll be camping all along the north side of Lake Aloha now this camping all along this red line too which is the trail but you, you know you got to be 200 feet off this off the water um, I've noticed a lot of people are ignoring that they're camping like right down by the water and there's I haven't seen anybody out here to do any checking but uh, I've been staying back. I don't want to be the one to uh, get caught or cause any problems. Um, so that's my plan for today. I will take photos and I don't know when I'll get to upload them, but um, that's today's plan. And then I'll give, just give you a tour here of the of the trip afterwards, uh, next couple of days. So probably tomorrow I'll leave this where the junction is. I'll leave and head head along here uh, past Heather Lake, uh, Sun Susie Lake. I'll go around Susie Lake. Um, so sometimes I have pictures. Let's see if we have any pictures here. Oh, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that looks like a nice area. What else we have? And here's a trail along the lake. Okay, let's go back. Let's, uh, I didn't, I didn't realize I could do that. Let's, um, hmm. let's try this right here by Aloha Lake. See what we have for pictures. Whoa. That looks interesting. Look at the campsites. Huh. Okay. I may not make it as far as I want. Or well, maybe I will. We shall see. <laughs> uh, okay. So anyway, we'll continue along here this week. Here's Gilmore Lake. Let's take a look and see what I have at Gilmore Lake. That looks interesting. Okay. Well, at least I'll be able to do a little swimming. And I shouldn't have any problems finding any water, that's for sure. And then uh, continue along here at some point this week. Here's a Dick's Lake. Let's take a look at that. Oops, what happened? Dick's Lake Junction. Come on. No, nope. what's going on here? I need a picture of the lake. I guess oh, let's try that one. Here we go. Oh, nice. Uh, that could probably be one of my stops, I think. That could, might be tomorrow night's stop. Dick, Dick Lake. Dick's Lake. Nice campsite. Okay. Um, and then in the third day, my permit's good for three days, but they're, they're like... They're not really strict about it. If you take an extra day, they don't. As long as you're moving, they don't care. So we'll continue here. Uh, not too many more lakes. Looks like a lot of climbing here, though. Look at these uh, elevation bars. 
especially right up through here. I'm going to be doing some climbing. Well, let's see what the elevations are. Seventy six hundred feet for this water spot, okay. And let's see what this is. And this is the border, so yeah, I should be out of here in three days. Um, it's tw only twenty six miles, so that's two. That's if you push it, that's two days. Okay, I didn't realize that. I thought it was more around 40 miles, but it's only 26 miles from where I am now. Um, okay, so you have an idea. I actually got an idea of how I do my navigation. And uh, and now you got a little idea of what I have in store for the next three days. Okay.
the 15th of July. Just left my uh, campsite on the uh, Pony Express Trail, uh, which is uh, just up from the Echo Lake Trailhead by Route 50. Some nice camping up here. But look at the sky. It's 6.30 in the morning. The Thunderheads are already building. We had a hell of a storm last, yesterday afternoon. It only lasted an hour. But man, that lightning was ferocious. I took shelter in a, in a closed ski lodge. I was lucky to be right there when it happened. Um, today I'm heading down to Route 50. It's about, should be only a 15 minute walk, 20 minute walk from here. And I'm gonna cross, I'm going to Echo Chalet Lodge for breakfast. And then I'm entering Desolation Wilderness. Uh, should be interesting. I'm really looking forward to it. I've heard a lot about this area that I'm about to enter into. And um, I'll uh, take, like I have been, plenty, plenty of videos and photos, that's for sure. Um, all right. Later. Here's Echo, uh, Echo Lake. And Desolation Wilderness. Huh. Okay. Alright. The walk has begun. Uh oh. This isn't officially the desolation, desolation wilderness. I have two more, two more miles to go, I guess. But this is the dam they built to help raise the level of the water here. So, here's Lake Tahoe, here's Aloha, here I am right there. We gotta go along these trails, actually I showed you on the map already, online. All kinds of trails, you can spend a lot of time in here, all kinds of trails, and you don't have to stay on the trails, you can boom, you can, uh, Bushwhack, any, 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 any way you want to go. You just need a permit. All right, what do we have? No, no fires. We kind of know that. And I have my permit, so we are all set. Here we go. Still climbing. It looks like I am going to be going up there to the snow. <laughs> Wow, there are the two lakes, Upper Echo and Lower Echo. I started way down there, walked all for around, 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 and back here. Oh, yeah. Rocky. 
It's supposed to be leveling off. Everybody keeps telling me, oh, wait till you get to Aloha. You got to go for a swim. It's beautiful. So they got me all psyched. Got to get there. further it is. I gotta, gotta get around this bend. Oh, there goes a little lizard. Hmm. There he goes, right there. Oh. Alright, let's see what's around this bend. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> look at you guys. I love it. Look at them. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, you're coming out, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, okay. How was it? Was nice. How far did you go? Tamarack. Tamarack. Tam Tamarack. Oh, Tamarack. Very oh. close. Yeah, it's about half a mile from here. Ooh, okay. Swimming there? Yes. <sighs> kind, of, kind of tough to get in. You kind of have to walk uh, over a rock. You know, how far is Aloha from here? That's another three. Aloha, the guy said that about it, a mile they thought it was a mile. Yeah, so it's about three so then. Yeah, okay, I think that's where I'm going to go. Yeah, yeah I better catch up to them. You know. Okay, hey, have, nice talking to you. That was cool. <laughs> All those hikers. Hi there. Hi, how you doing? Good. Good. Hi. Oh, permit time. Yeah, here's a sign. Here we go. Lake Tahoe Basin Desolation Wilderness. I am covered. Look at this. Look at this place. Oh, I got to tell you, I just met a guy coming down with a snowboard. He went snowboarding further up. <sighs> How awesome is that? I got to see that. Bring your backpacking gear and a snowboard and spend the weekend up here in July snowboarding. I got to do that. I got to do that. Right. Look at this. It's a freaking zoo here. Look at all these people. Oh my word. A lot of them though, most of them are coming out. So, because it's a Sunday, that's good. Oh shit, how much is left? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> uh, enough to have a good time. You know? Yeah? Uh, you guys having a good, what are you up to? You like Aloha? Yeah. Nice, yeah. <laughs> A lot of people, like over 100 people, are moving out, yep. making room for the weak, weak, the weak people. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Look at all these freaking people. Man, packed. Most of them are coming out though. Which is a good sign. Yeah. Oh. Who's going here? <laughs> I need the rest. I'm going up. <laughs> okay. And it's in the water bottles. You like that? Does that yeah. not affect your no. inertia? No. You don't feel no, like because, it? no, because you just lift on a couple of inches and you're letting momentum go. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah. That's kind of an interesting idea. Remember, yeah. you're the first yeah. person I've ever seen. Yeah. Did you do that on your own with just like yeah, straps? Just, yeah, just, uh, just Velcro. Oh, not, not Velcro, uh, little, bungee, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Huh. Where are you headed to? Uh, I'm going all the way around. I got to get back to Mount Rose. I'm doing a through hike. So, Mount Rose off yonder. Mount Rose, way up in the northeast corner. I don't know where the hell am I. Oh, I'm at the southern end of the lake. No, yeah, I got to go back up north. Wow. Yeah. Oh, good oh, thank you. Hi. Tahoe Crest Trail. TRT, yeah, Tahoe Crest Rim Rim Trail. Rim trail. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's excellent. All right. Hi. Hi. Right, thank you. Yeah. You too. Oh shit. Oh, I hit a I hit a climate zone. 
and it just got a tad cooler right here. Yeah. Holy shade, I'm taking a break. Taking a break. And we are at, what are we at now? Almost 8,200 feet. We were at 7,000. I've been climbing all morning. Okay. This trail is not for the faint the hot, believe me. I've been out here for a week. I started off this morning, went up Mount to the summit of Mount Echo. No problems. Acclimated to the altitude, but I'll tell you, this trail, whew, this is this pushes your limits. This is a tough one. Yeah, a real tough one. We're way up here. Um, I'm even with that snow across across the valley here, and that's Taramac, Tar Taramac Lake, the first lake of the chain coming up. Yeah. You better do your research before you come out here. Believe me, don't start at Echo. Believe me. <laughs> if you start at Echo, you'll be getting off the trail. You got to start at the lower elevations and, and spend some days then get up here. Oh, beautiful trail up here. Finally made it to the top. It's all pines. 8,400 feet. There's a sign right there, Loire Lake, right ahead of us. We're coming up on it. Should be another 20 minutes or so. It's a quarter of 12. This is going to be an early day. I'm just going to find a nice spot and go in for a swim. Hi. Look at this. This is a low lake. It was a climb coming up here, baby. Look at this. All right, let's continue to see what we have. <laughs> huh. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in. Look at this. And they were snowboarding up there this morning. I thought maybe I'd see somebody this afternoon, but I don't I don't think I see anybody up there. That's pretty awesome.
look at this. I'll do a scan. Water place. This is where this is our well, what's the elevation here? 8,200 feet. 8,200, yeah.